Hi, in this video we will learn how to find the area between the graphs of two functions when the graph, their graph, cross each other. Okay, so remember that when we were working with the area between two functions, well, if two functions on the given interval, let's say from A to B, are given, so you look which one is the upper one, which one is the lower one, and then you find integral of upper one, let's say this is the upper one, this is lower one, minus lower one dx, going from A to B, yes? But what would happen if on the given interval, let's say again from A to B, well, at some part, one of these functions are bigger one, on the other, the other one is the upper one. Okay, so something like this. How are you going to determine to write which one up, which one low? Well, in these cases, basically what we do is turn the interval into sub-intervals, such that on, the, on each sub-interval, we have only one of these functions bigger than the other one. So in this case, let's say C, D are here. So on the first part, which is this part, you see that G is upper one and F is the lower one. So interval will go A to C of G minus F dx. For the second one, you see that F is the upper one and G is the lower one. So we will have plus integral from C to D of the upper one is F minus lower one is G. And then add to that, so this part is also done by that one. Now, for the last part, you see that again, G is upper one and F is lower one. So in that case, you will do from D to B of upper one minus lower one DX. If you are interested in writing it in one formula, one magic formula there is a way to write that so in this case if you write a to b f x minus g x you need to put absolute value there so that absolute value takes care of which one is upper one which one is lower one it always will take the upper one minus lower one but while you're computing that, you again will need to break the integral into small pieces like this and integrate each piece and add those ones. Okay? So being upper one and lower one is the key point here. And let's see this in some examples. Okay? find the region enclosed by the given curves. Okay, so let's sketch these guys. Uh, I have this. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have what? We have a one over X. So one over X is something like this guy. Uh, well, it has also the other side, but we won't work with that. Um, x over 4 so x over 4 will give us something like this this is a straight line and it will go from 1 uh, for if you plug in 1 in uh, 1 over x you get 1 so it will be somewhere here 1 and where they will intersect is this point, and three will be somewhere here. So as you see, uh, first on this part, one over x is the upper one, x over four is the lower one. When you pass this point of intersection, 
you have to change the order. So this will be x over 4, 1 over x. Whatever this point is, the integral is going to, the area is going to be given by uh, this integral a 1 to 3. 1 to 3 of absolute value of 1 over x minus x over 4 dx but this will be uh, written in the form 1 to b of upper 1 minus lower 1 plus b to 3 of upper 1 minus lower 1 what does that be? Well, we have to intersect, intersect these two and find the point of intersection, yes? So 1 over x equal to x over 4. From there, you get x squared is equal to 4. So that means that x is either plus 2 or minus 2. Since we are working with the plus side, so we'll just take this and that is going to be 2 and this is going to be 2. Very nice. And now we have to check the the well find evaluate the integrals here one over x is ln x minus x over four is x square over eight go from one to two plus oh the other one is again x square over eight minus ln x this is another integral so you go from two to three Let's evaluate these ones. Ln 2 minus 2 squared over 8 minus ln 1 minus 1 squared over 8. The other one is 3 squared over 8 minus ln of 3 uh, minus ln 2 squared over 8 minus ln and as you see, well, let's simplify a little bit here. This will be zero. And here I have two, four over eight, negative four over eight. Here another, um, this will be plus one over eight. This will be nine over eight. So that's those two, 10 over eight. And then uh, there is a negative 4 over 8. So it will be negative 4 plus 1 plus 3, negative 4 over, sorry, plus 9, not 3, over 8. And then here I have ln 2, negative ln 3 plus ln 2. So it will be plus ln 2 minus ln 3 plus ln 2 and well simplify these values that would give me nice numbers i believe uh, it will be 2 over 8 which is 1 over 8 plus you see if i use the properties of ln i will get ln of 4 over 3 which is a positive number and that would so the key point here was that you have to be careful. You have to break the integral into two pieces. How about this other one? Okay, so here, um, a very nice one. So this is one uh, y equal to x. So this will go like that. And um, 1 over x. So this will be something like this. So, uh, and it doesn't say anything else. So it means that we have to find all the bounds ourselves, all the limits. So um, set them equal to each other. x cubed is equal to x. And that means that x uh, Q minus X is equal to zero. We can factor this X out and then we have X squared minus one. Um, from there, well, you can solve that. Yes, uh, X, X minus one, X plus one. So we have three points, zero, one, and negative one. 
So here is negative 1, here is 0, here is 1. And the area is going to be integral of ne from negative 1 to 1, absolute value of x cubed minus x dx. So this is the fancy way of writing what is coming next. But if you want to evaluate it, you have to make it two integrals from negative 1 to 0. Upper one in that interval is x cubed. So x cubed minus x dx plus integral of lower one. Uh, sorry, from 0 to 1. Upper one in this case is x. So we have. Then find antiderivative of this guy x4 over 4 minus x squared over 2. Go from negative 1, 0 plus uh, x squared over 2 minus x4 over 4. Go from 0 to 1. This will give us 0 minus uh, 1 over 4 minus 1 over 2 plus... This will give us 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 minus 0. And this is negative 1 over 4. There's another. So this will be 1 over 4. And the other one is 1 over 4. So it will be 1 over 2. Note that these two guys are going to be equal uh, areas because it's symmetric and that's why here we are finding 1 over 4 and 1 over 4 for each part again when the graphs are crossing on the interval of integration while trying to find the area between the graphs graphs you have to use either the absolute value formula the fancy formula or to evaluate that you have to break the integral onto smaller pieces such that on each given interval one of these ones these functions are upper function and the other one is lower one